All right, guys, so we've kind of been uploading, you know, everything and anything to this channel. And something I wanted to comment on that I just don't feel like we had enough time to really discuss on Twitter um, was the situation with Garnacho and, and Ten Hag yesterday because I was watching the Bournemouth United game and um, there's been this crazy situation that's gone on kind of off the pitch a little bit. Um, so I wanted to discuss it a little bit. And I want you guys to let me know what you think about the situation. Um, you guys know this channel, we're kind of just, we're vibing. You know, I, I'm pretty sure everybody who watches this channel um, is massively into football and watches a lot of the content of mine. So I appreciate you guys for both of those reasons. And I'm, and I'm here to, I value your opinion on this situation. I'll just say, if you don't know a little bit about me, I, I played a little bit of USL 2. Um, so I've played at a somewhat professional level. Look, none of the levels I've ever played at is anything close to touching the fourth division, fifth division of England. But I guess I understand a little bit about like professionalism and, and what goes down in this business. And so I wanted to comment on this because it, it, it did it did annoy me a little bit with this whole situation um, with Garnacho and Ten Hag. So I want to know what you guys think. Um, you know, I've, I've had f my fair share issues with coaches and managers as well that I've just like not gotten along with or... Um, you know, just, just, we didn't see it the same way. And, and I think that's a huge ongoing problem with lots of players and lots of managers. Right. And I think social media is such a freaking issue, man. I think social media does nothing besides cause problems to everything. And I think that's what we've got going on here. So basically Ten Hag at the end of the game, uh, did a press conference and this is where this all starts for, um, Garnacho was taken off at halftime. Um, and basically, Ten Hag, after the game, said that, you know, United needed to edit the right side because on Garnacho's flank due to his defensive struggles. And, you know, he just they didn't play well there and they, they needed to sub because they were getting cooked on that side, basically. Um, he also then said that Garnacho was not was during the week, also not training. Also, was yesterday, uh, only yesterday he trained. So they were going to bring some more energy togetherness to that right side. So. To, to be honest, guys, like for me, I know that some United fans are looking at this saying, Ten Hag, you are an a-hole for blaming a 19-year-old for defensively struggling. The way that I see it, Garnacho, uh, yes, he's 19 years old. He's a professional, right? He he's This is what he is doing. This is his job. He's not going to uni and college. He's not having those developing years, right? So you could cut him some slack for that. But, but this is what he has signed up for. And when you're thrown into the spotlight early at that age, the maturity just kicks in it, it, like it's inevitable. It's what happens. You, you, you grow up a lot faster than your peers. So I, I, you know, for me, just looking at this, it, this is a business. Football is a professional business. And, you know, do I think 10 hogs should be probably naming names in a press conference to keep a locker room together? No. I mean, is it, is it smart of him to be doing that? Probably not. He's probably just, you know, explaining the reasoning for why he's making changes and that, you know, maybe Garnacho, like admittedly is not a full on defensive winger, right? We know that like he's, he's got a, he's got a crazy work rate, but he's going to provide you more in the attack than defensively. So that's kind of what happened with, with this. Then, then he, 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 he says that Harry Maguire overcame it. He recovered. So I think that's where Garnacho was really upset that Harry Maguire wasn't having a good first half either. And that, you know, um, Ten Hag gave him another chance in the second half to go out there. And, and I think Garnacho was really annoyed because Garnacho obviously just won them that game against Chelsea. And Garnacho's been playing well. Let's be honest, Garnacho's been having a really good season. So for him to get subbed, Garnacho probably feels like, you know, as a 19 year old, he's one of the best players on the team. And you know what? He is, right? He is. But it's team sport. And this is where, you know, none of this do I have an issue. Should Ten Hag, do I like managers directly? saying to certain about certain players that they're bad or good in this area i don't I, I feel like managers should reveal as little as possible about the squad i think to get the trust of a manager and the locker room together you need to kind of just talk nothing to the press i think social media ruins everything right people get in their feels and their emotions on social media it at the end of the day social media brings more conflicts right and i would include press conferences in, into all this press conferences are for the media to make money and for viewers to find conflict or enjoy reactions out of things right and i know that i know that for example like ten hog and the prem they're contractually obligated to take the conferences they should not be revealing this much ten, ten hog should not be talking all about this but this is where for me this is this is where we get into like a little bit of a problem so basically right after the game garnacho went on twitter or x right and he starts liking tweets from mark goldbridge at <sighs> I can't even tell you. I, I've seen so many NBA players, all these athletes. I'm not, I'm not in the position to be able to tell what 
these guys should and shouldn't do in their lives. But as a professional footballer, you should not be logging on to not only your 700,000 follower social media account, millions of people are looking at what you're saying after the game, right? And and that's why Garnacho as a 19-year-old has done this. It's his idea of subtweeting. It's his idea of, of getting out of his system, frustration he has towards the situation. He's got, he's got a lot of frustration that he's taken off at halftime. He feels like he's way more deserving than that. And he probably is, but... As frustrated as you are in the worst moments, like I've had a coach that drove me so crazy one time, the stuff this guy was doing to our team, the stuff this, and not like, all right, not in like a bad, like anything illegal way, just, just the stuff this guy was doing tactically, just the way this guy acted, I couldn't stand this guy. He thought he knew everything what was going on and he didn't know one thing what he was doing. He's playing players out of position. He was making subs at the wrong time. We had guys on our team, top-level players, that probably could have ran a team better than him, that knew the tactics, that knew how to get the best out of everybody. And what this coach would like to do is turn everybody against each other. This coach had none of the locker room. He had his favorites. I'm sure you guys had coaches like this, right? But at the end of the day, I never complained to anyone outside of the team, and I never said anything publicly because that's how you act. That's what it's got to be. If the manager, yes, Garnacho can feel like the manager went to the press conference to to really like stitch him up. I don't really think that. I think I think that Ten Hag was basically just saying we needed somebody more defensive in that position and he made the adjustments at halftime. So I know that Garnacho feels the brutality of this, but for him to go on Twitter and start liking Mark Goldbridge's tweets, like what are you doing, man? Garnacho has been one of our best players this season. Poor first half, but taking him off at halftime and holding him up as the problem is is a joke. Okay, I think it's a little out of context here was as a joke. Many have done much worse week in and week out and are still out there. I agree. I'm going to tell you right now, and anyone that's watching this video, I agree with Mar with what Mark Goldbridge is saying. But Garnacho, you dude, you cannot go on Twitter and like this stuff, man. This is, but this is the problem, and this is the problem I'm noticing with a lot of the modern players, and it's different than it was 10, 15 years ago. We didn't have these players doing these kind of like emotional online media protests and crap like this, bro. You're not going to always like the way a manager. At the end of the day, this is a sports business, and a manager is hired to manage the team. You as the player have been bought and are paid. You're being paid tons of money to be playing at the football club. I understand that you could have frustration. You could not agree. You think it's a bad decision. You're not the manager. So it's not up to you as the player to go on Twitter and start liking content creators tweets about how you should be played in the team. This is only going to create a more of a locker room diversion because you're putting on an emotional show in the locker room now and you're going to create division in the team. This is not how you should be acting. I don't care what age you are. And this is the problem with social media. Now the newer generation, instead of angering out frustrations with, dude, getting into the lab, putting in two more sessions and running 10 miles because you're so mad and you want to hit a punching bag at your coach, right? You're going on X and liking tweets from a content creator. It's pathetic. Ten Hag subtly blaming Garnacho in the pest post-match press conference. Not a good look throwing a 19-year-old under the bus who has actually delivered for you this season. What Mark Goldbridge is saying is true, and I'm, and I'm agreeing with it, but Garnacho should not be going to Twitter and liking this stuff, man. I'm telling you. And I've even just looked at Garnacho's tweets even, like, recently. I'm just going through and looking at his tweets right now. You know, he's liked a tweet about somebody saying, the only thing I'll criticize him is for taking off Garnacho today and against Chelsea. He's our outlet when we are soaking up the pressure. He should not be liking these tweets. This is like he's unliked these tweets from Goldbridge, but he still got this one publicly liked. And this is where I circle back to it. I've guys, I have, and I'm sure some of you guys that have played football, you have hated your managers. But going on to Twitter, dude, and liking stuff and talking crap about your manager is not the way to solve stuff, dude. It's not. It's not. The manager has been appointed to make decisions. You could disagree with it and you could hate the manager, but you should damn well. Not let anyone know you hate the manager unless, I'll tell you this, there's the one time it crosses the line. If the manager is harassing players, if the manager is illegally acting. But in this case scenario, I'm not seeing that, right? Maybe Ten Hag is making terrible decisions, right? Maybe he's saying that he shouldn't have done this and 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 this player is being, you know, you know, um, an outlet for a problem in a press conference. Or maybe he's making bad decisions taking off Garnacho at times. But it's not it's not Garnacho's job to go on Twitter. And that's why I've seen these likes. He's only got 53 likes. I mean, I, like, it's annoying me. It's annoying me. And we've, we've already seen, you know, and, and this is the thing that, like, I hope Garnacho can stop doing stuff like this. 
because it, it is a lot. It is a lot at a 19 year old to go and be from one of the most prominent footballing countries, right? Argentina, be a hyped up player, play for Manchester United. This is arguably the club with the most pressure at it, right? And and it's a lot. It's a lot on his shoulders. But I'm telling you right now, dude. And there's no, you know, Garnacho's not watching this video. But anyone that's a United fan, anyone that likes Garnacho, he should not be doing this, bro. He should not be doing this. This is not how you're gonna act, bro. You gotta let nobody know. You gotta let nobody see your cards. It's very important. It's very important because now what happens, this is what happens based on this, right? You guys watching this video and me included, we don't know what the hell is going on in United locker room, but here's how we perceive it. Let's say I love Garnacho. Let's say I'm a United fan and I see his tweets. What am I going to do now? I'm not going to support Ten Hag. I'm going to start being an a-hole to Ten Hag. I'm going to start trashing him. It's not a healthy environment. It's not a healthy environment with the club. And it doesn't matter even if you disagree with what Ten Hag is doing because there's times where I've said, what the hell is Ten Hag doing? It doesn't matter. It's creating hostility in the environment because now people are thinking, okay, Garnacho doesn't like Ten Hag. Garnacho hates Ten Hag. I'm sure other players hate Ten Hag. Let's trash Ten Hag. It creates a division in a team. It creates a lot of problems. So I just want to weigh in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think? I don't like that this is still in his likes. Um, <laughs> Look, scroll down. Man United can see yet again after subbing off Garnacho in the 80th minute. Not only is his defensive work rate overlooked, but when he comes off, we invite more pressure. And, and here's what I'm saying. I don't disagree with this, but should you be playing for Manchester United and putting this in your likes on Twitter? Is this healthy for your teammates and your team and your manager and everybody, even if the post is right? Let me know what you guys think. See you later.